Start game now. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the No Sir Gamer. I thought today I would look at the Atari 7800 Pro-Line controller itself. Yep, this is the original controller that came with the Atari 7800 when it first came out in test markets in 1984. So yeah, it's pretty old, but you can definitely see it has a sleeker look than its Atari 2600 counterpart. Actually, if you turn it on its side, it kind of looks like an old Star Trek phaser. Now with two buttons, one on either side, you kind of hold it like a hot dog bun, which may seem like it'd be comfortable, but after a while, it does start to cramp your hands. Some interesting aspects is you can take the knob up here and turn it. It does absolutely nothing functionally to the game, but it's there nonetheless. The two side buttons that for a lot of Atari 7800 uh, games do something independently of one another. But if you play a 2600 game, you can actually use either button at your will. So if you're playing Pitfall and you want to jump, you could use either side button, which makes it good for... I guess left-handed people as well, since it's easy to switch hands. So yeah, this thing actually, for a limited time, may have come bundled with Atari 2600s as well, maybe overseas in other markets, as they were trying to market this as more than just an Atari 7800 controller. I do like its design and look as taking comfort aside. I think it does look pretty sleek. Too bad that after a while it does cramp your hands. On eBay, if you want to get one of these, the going rate for these right now is about, well, it's about $13 to $17 for uh, working one of these. Most of them do work, but every once in a while you do come across a bad one. And yeah, so $13 to $17 for one. If you want a pair of them, you can get a pair usually for about oh, $25. And if you want a brand new one still in the box, it's going for about $30. So these can cost you a pretty penny. But you know what? There's other options for the Atari 7800. And in future episodes, I will cover those as well. So there you go. The Atari 7800 Pro Line controller. It's a shame it doesn't play as good as it looks. Yeah, there are other options and I'll show you some better ones. If you enjoy retro videos like this, please click the like and subscribe button just like that. And also be sure to check out my other videos with over 150 videos posted. There's something for just about every retro fan. Thanks again, guys. And I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of No Sword Gamer. Take care. Bye-bye.